What's up, my friends? Hello and welcome to episode 157 of the Speaking English podcast. And by the hat, you can see that this will be a book review. And I'm going to review The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I read on the iPhone. And I bought it because... Um, it was the number one bestseller at the time, and I figured, all right, so everybody is talking about this um, series of books by Stieg Larsson. Um, who's who's dead, by the way? I'm not sure if you knew that. He uh, died a couple of years ago, and uh, this series is uh, basically his uh, legacy. And um, so I figured, okay, well, Everybody's raving about it, and the Americans feel a need to um, shoot movies for the series again. Although pretty recent movies um, already exist, um, then there has to be something about the story. And um, it is uh, it is a good story. Um, it's not hard to read at all. Um, let me just see if I can, uh, I read this a couple of weeks ago, so, um, I'm now trying to remember what the name of the main character is, um, it's not Valanda, I think it's, what's his name, Zalanda, I think. Uh, anyway, alright, so it's a there's um the in the beginning is a little bit um not spooky but it's you know it doesn't start with this happened that happened then that happened that happened but it starts out with two um strands of strings if you will of narration one following um the male ma uh, main character and the other one following the female main character. And it takes a while until those stories connect and then become one story. Um, but it's not um, postmodernism, and it's it, it's not hard to understand the two strings of narration, and it's not hard to keep track of both of them. Okay, so. It's not that one is in the past and the other one is in the dreams of another person. It's just, you know, on this side, this happens, and on the other side, that that happens. And, um, okay, so the English is um, the English translation, which I read, uh, which I think is the basic uh, um, one, uh, was not hard to read at all. Um, the male, man, ma male main character... Is a journalist, and um, so he has a slightly more vocabulary than, um, for example, a plumber would have. But um, he doesn't use it just to use it. Okay, so it's 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 really, uh, I would say, a good novel to read for learners of English. Um, and the the girl, the female main character. Um, she's quite young, so that might appeal to some of you as well. Um, it's set in, I want to say Sweden, yes, it's set in Sweden, and um, so that it brings in lots of um, country and a little bit of nature, and if you've been to Stockholm, you might recognize some of the places in the narration. So uh, I liked it a lot, the book, and I'm certainly going to read the second part um, of the trilogy, and of course also the third part. But at the moment I'm reading something else, and at the moment I'm also reading uh, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Um, so yeah, this is uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stig Larsson, um, which I highly recommend reading, it's very entertaining. Um, there are some pages um, where you could argue that there's violence on it, 
really some, or no, not some, a few, meaning not a lot. And um, there is um, a little bit of detective work involved, lots of detective work actually. Um, and um, yeah, well, check it out. Okay, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all the feedback. There will be more soon. Bye bye.